This is Minecraft. It was created by Swedish developer Marcus Persson and has over 2.3 million players. In it you can explore, build, create, and destroy. Here's a taste of what it's like. You can build almost anything in Minecraft, from Japanese villages, to ancient Roman cities. You can make music videos. In circles, it's a very, very just music. Settings from movies. custom characters. Or even a computer. For my capstone project, I made a computer that could add two eight-digit binary numbers. Before I can show you how it works, I need to explain to you what and how binary works and what booleans and logic gates are. Binary is the word for base 2. In math, we count using bases. By far, the most common and widely used base is base 10. Most people never even come in contact with any other bases. With base 10, we start from the digit 0, then count up to the digit 9. Then what do we do? There's no digit after 9 that represents 10. So we take the 9 and turn it into a 0, then add 1 to the 0 in the next column up, giving us 10. We then start the process over again, taking the 0 in the 1's place and adding to it until it becomes a 9. When that happens, we add another 1 to the 1 in the 10's place and put the 9 in the 1's place back to 0, which gives us 20. The same goes for 99. When you add 1 to it, the 9 in the 1's place turns back to 0 and adds 1 to the 9 in the 10's place, which then turns into a 0 and adds 1 to the 100's place, giving us 100. Binary is base 2, so we start at 0, then add 1. But we're already out of digits, we only have 0 and 1. So when we add 1 to 1, this 1 turns into a 0, 
and we add a 1 to the next base, giving us 1 and 0. When given a larger binary number, you can easily convert it to base 10. Each place is just 2 to the power of that place. So for 1, it equals 1 because it's 2 to the power of 0. With 1, 0, that equals 2 to the power of 1. With 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, you have 2 to the power of 5, plus 2 to the power of 2, plus 2 to the power of 0, which equals 32 plus 4 plus 1, which is 37. A 2-digit base 10 number takes up 6 digits in base 2, so it's not very convenient to work with. However, binary works well on computers. Since millions of calculations have to be performed every second, using only two voltages, an off, zero, and an on, one, is much easier and much less prone to error than using multiple voltages. The other mathy thing inside computers is booleans. Booleans can either be true, which I'll call one, or false, which I'll call zero. You'd think that using two separate methods, which both use zeros and ones in their notations, would be complicated, but it's really not that bad when you get used to it. Booleans, like numbers, have different operations you can perform on them. But instead of plus, minus, times, and by, you have not, and, or, and xor. We'll start with the simplest, not. Not operations have only one input and one output. Not 1 equals 0, and not 0 equals 1. Next, there's AND. AND operations only return 1 when both of the inputs are 1. So 1 AND 0 equals 0, and 0 AND 0 is 0, but 1 AND 1 is 1. OR operations equal 1 when either or both inputs are equal to 1. So 1 OR 0 equals 1, 1 OR 1 equals 1, but 0 OR 0 equals 0. XOR stands for exclusive OR and is a slightly different version of an OR gate. When you have 0 XOR 0, it equals 0, and when you have 1 XOR 0, it equals 1, but then, if you have 1 XOR 1, it equals 0. Logic gates are physical representations of all of the Boolean operations. Many of the microscopic transistors in your computers and phones are arranged to act as logic gates. Logic gates have inputs and outputs, which represent the inputs and outputs of Boolean functions. It's important to note that you can use any single gate or combination of gates to make any other kind of gate. When you combine logic gates in certain ways, you can use them to perform operations on binary numbers. That's what my adder in Minecraft is. It takes inputs for two A-digit binary numbers, sends those inputs through a series of logic gates, and then returns the output, which is the two numbers added together. Logic gates are made in Minecraft using redstone. In the game, it's a powder that you can place on the ground which acts as wires. You can use it to make a torch, which can be used to make a knot gate. With that knot gate, you can make any other kind of gate. And gates look like this. The levers are the inputs, and the redstone wire to the right is the output. This is an OR gate, once again with lever inputs and output on the right. This is an XOR gate. In order to make an adder, you need to make a series of full adders, which are each made of two half adders. A half adder has two inputs, A and B, and two outputs, S and C. S stands for sum, and C stands for carry. A and B are two boolean digits, S is the sum of those digits, and C is if the sum needs to be carried. When you have binary digits 0 plus 0, both outputs are 0. When you have 1 plus 0, the sum S is 1, and the carry C is 0. When you have 1 plus 1, S is 0, and C is 1. With this example, C can be thought of as the second column, and S can be thought of as the first column. 1 plus 0 equals 0, 1, 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. To make a full adder, you'll need another input, C in. The output C is now called C out. You usually have a series of full adders, and each C in comes from the previous adders C out. Like when you're adding 1 to 99, the 1's place carries a 1 into the 10's place, which then carries a 1 into the 100's place. My adder is a fairly common one found inside a computer's processor. In computers, each binary digit is called a bit. Since it has 8 digits, it's an 8-bit adder. Each set of letters and output torch have a number, which is the value of that place in the binary number. When the lever is up, it equals 1, and when it's down, it equals 0. You can add up until 510, which is what? 1111111 plus 1111111 in binary equals. If I wanted to, I could put more full adders onto the end of this, so I could add up to higher numbers. Computers used to use different combinations of 8 bits to make the characters on a keyboard, but in order to use international languages and a better selection of characters, computers now use more than 8 bits. How many depends on the character set? 
All files are binary at their lowest components. Things like adders and subtractors are inside of your computer and perform millions of calculations per second to process your keyboard and mouse inputs. It uses these inputs, along with files and programs, to decide which things to display on your monitor or play through your speakers. Modern computers are incredibly fast and complex, but we tend to take that for granted and forget how amazing technology actually is.